Hi everyone, today is October 10, uh, the World Mental Health Day and from Beyond the Veil, we're going to dedicate this week to discuss on the important issue but one of the things that I want to remind everyone, especially people who are working from different, from different um, government institutions or even private or public institutions, this is a call today to really go back and see what your organization, what your company is doing to improve the mental well-being of everyone. And also we're not only calling out just institutions, public sectors or uh, private sectors, even people, you know, who are leaders within their own families, within, you know, different groups. It might be from church, from anywhere. You know, we have to slow down and see if there's anything we're doing to raise awareness on, you know, of mental health. Because one thing is that, you know, if we are ignoring the importance of taking care of our mental health, it's also no, um, recognizing how it is the most important part of our body because you know let's take one example within our own families uh, we don't question when somebody has a headache we don't question if somebody has a fever it's a normal thing right away we know how to take care of that you know from the young age even your younger kid can be able to detect if somebody is not doing well physically so it is important, especially people who are in charge of other people, you know, it might be, you know, you, yeah, you are part of the authority, you are leading a small group anywhere. Every single day, ask yourself, what am I doing to bring a change in terms of, you know, taking care of the well-being of everyone around you? I'm not telling you to just dedicate your life to take care uh, of people around you and forgetting about yourself. Here I'm talking about, for example, doctors, you know, um, uh, leaders in different ways. Sometimes, you know, or even mothers, fathers, you know, we just continue giving and giving and serving, serving. And we forget that we actually have to pull into ourselves before we start giving to others. So because you can pull from an empty cup, an, an empty cup. I remember last month, uh, September um the month of September, from beyond the veil, we called it uh, starting with yourself. Everything you want to do for others is start within yourself. So it is important that we slow down, you know, as we dedicate uh, this day, as we observe this way in a way to think, what are we doing to improve the well-being of our people in diaspora, in, you know, small group, our communities? What am I doing as a leader for the well-being of my people? So today, as Beyond the Veil, we're calling everyone, we are inviting everyone and actually even join our work to see what we can do to improve the mental well-being of the Rwandan people and actually give back to our communities because we know that Rwandans are everywhere, you know, our work is specifically for the Rwandan Canadian, then, you know, Rwandans are uh, resident um, or Rwandans living in Rwanda, however, also being, having the opportunity to share our knowledge or information uh, on the platform this is you know a great opportunity to share with everyone you know sometimes we see people reaching out to us who are not even from our community but our number one goal is to make sure that the Rwandan people the Rwandan Canadians you know the resident of Rwanda or the people of Rwanda actually you know learn the importance of taking care of their mental well-being and today you know uh Moving forward for the next seven days, we're going to discuss, you know, a very important uh, topic. Uh, one second. So the topic will be how to create a personal space for resilience. I believe for Rwandan people, you know, resilience is part of our lives. This is why many Rwandans are able to stand to this day. But what does that mean? Kuijira, resilience, Vivuziki. This is why many of us were able to survive some of the traumatic events that we experienced in our country. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there's the genocide uh, run against Tutsi. There's also other things, you know, other different violences, you know, um, many of us growing up we experienced. 
and you know whenever you see a rundown everywhere you know we recognize to be resilient people so but what does that mean you know how does resilience play an important role to the rundown people so this is what we're going to discuss this week you know we're gonna have actually our counselor uh uh kaneza you know explaining to us the topic you know going in depth really uh telling us what it means you know uh how we see you know uh useful um to our community or to our random people so we also gonna share different information to explain the topic so this week you know connect with us we always see people you know sending us private message and everything but don't always be afraid to just share our information with everyone and uh, also we really appreciate our growing community um also this week we're gonna uh, have an opportunity to allow people to come in our dms you know if you have a question if you want to open up in any way actually if you want to have access to different information that can help you or your loved one to learn how to cope your mental challenges you know our conversations are all about you know normal right no, normalizing the topic you know the meaning or how the world or how um the world understand mental health issues you know whenever we discuss about that topic many people are afraid some people are afraid to share you know uh anything about it but we just want to tell you that one you know everyone in their lifetime i repeat this i always say this they're gonna have to take care of their mental health but not everyone is going to have a mental illness and actually having a mental illness it doesn't mean that every single day of your life you seek or struggling that's the same way if you have a chronic disease there are better ways and there are tough days so you know and the other thing is that sometimes if people were living with mental uh, challenges you know sometimes they have better mental health than people who don't have any mental illness or any mental challenges so the key really is to understand what it means to take care of my mental well-being you know the same way i recognize you know if i don't sleep for 20 hours i'm gonna have a headache you know i might just you know get tired and have a heart attack those things will listen to our physical body you know but how about our mental health it's really important our brain needs our attention you know so that's why talking about all these things we're doing our best as beyond the veil to normalize that and our goal is actually educate random people random canadians to be able actually to learn how to help themselves i'm not saying that you know the same way when i'm sick i go look for a doctor because there are ways i can't treat myself but at the same time we have some basic knowledge you know when i have a headache i run to the doctor I try to take, you know, a Tylenol, a Tylenol. I try to uh, uh, sleep, rest, try to do things before I go to the uh, clinic or the hospital. The same with mental health. There are things we can teach ourselves that can really, really help us to have those tools uh, to recognize, you know, some of the alarming times, to recognize, you know, when my brain really needs um, to take a break, how can I scan my body? How can actually, you know, um, I scan my body, try to feel how even my, my internal organs, you know, function. So there's a lot and, you know, this is a journey beyond the veil. We're here to stay and we thank you so much. You know, it's, um, it's a growing journey and we appreciate everyone who encourages, who really, um, uh, who really yeah i would say encourages on this journey and uh, we have a really an amazing vision and our goal is to really see everyone run down um learn ways that they can take care of them when i say their mental well-being from younger kids to our elders you know having those normal conversation being able you know to go back you know in our family of origin origin and actually discuss some of the taboo topics things we're not able to discuss in our families you know we really want uh, everyone to be able to have those safe space to express themselves and everyone so uh this week we're gonna have more to talk about so i welcome you to really you know check on our page and if you have any questions don't hesitate to really communicate with us i know many people like to come in our dms you know but always don't forget just to encourage us in the comments sharing our messages 
it really means a lot to us i thank you guys everyone thank you actually for the beyond the veil team whatever you are you guys are absolutely amazing and and uh, i wish everyone an amazing day and uh, really calling every organization every institution to do what it takes if you have a workplace without a counselor think about it you know um when i say any organization you have any a business any small business even if you can hire a counselor you can have once in a while even invite us you know from beyond the veil come lead some work uh, workshop to your organizations we have you know one professor among us you know experienced with you know uh, trauma and really have uh, some great knowledge we have our counselor so you know both english french kinyaranda you can invite us we have really great tools that can support your people that can actually can actually even provide some training we can share more information you know in the weeks to come we're gonna be able to share with you you know from our website what we stand for what are the services you can receive from us even you know speaking to your event encouraging you know so many things so thank you so much you know as we observe this day as we take the time to really um Think what is our role to really um, improve the mental well-being of ourselves and people around us. What actually thinking about investing in mental um, um, mental health. You know the same way we think about investing in physical health. You know it is important that you know the Rwandan diaspora, wherever you are, you know even the Rwandan people, churches everywhere, different organizations, sport. Uh, different mini, um, ministries so we really call you if you don't have a program in your organization small business business anything that support the mental well-being of your people this is the day to think about it this is the day you stand up even if you were just you know an employee to an organization and you don't see that this is a way to send a letter to the entire organization or this, you know, your company, your group, you know, even your cell groups, you know, club, uh, sport. Tell them, you know, why we don't have this? Why can't we have some workshops, you know? Uh, yes, and we're here to support in ways that we can. Even if that service that you, you want, we don't have it, we're going to be able to provide some tools or resources that can help you and your loved one and people around you. Thank you so much. Again, this is Lydia. Find us on um, Beyond the Veil Mission Instagram and Facebook, Beyond the Veil on uh, YouTube uh, Mission, and also Beyond the Veil Rwanda, Rwanda on Twitter. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.